Hey, I'm Zach Jarrett. I um, play for the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, play at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Um, just glad to show you all a day in the life of how I live and uh, what I go through every day. I started getting into baseball. I started playing around when I was three or four. I started playing t-ball and uh, I think I played every year growing up um, but what really made me sort of get into it and love it the most was probably my mom's dad. He played uh, professional baseball and I was around him a lot at a young age and growing up and uh, we sort of grew a bond through that and uh, I just grew a love for it and it hadn't stopped. Charlotte because for one it was close to home but it was far enough away to where I didn't feel like I was at home uh, but whenever I went on my visit to Charlotte the coaches uh, coach Lauren Hibbs and Bo Robinson and Chris O'Shell they all made me feel at home and uh, they made me feel wanted and that they wanted me to be a part of the program and that was something that was uh, big to me and uh, they also had a lot building Charlotte was still a small school but they were growing and they got football the first year I was there and uh, they sort of started a uh, to grow something really great there and it was uh, it was special to be a part of. Uh, the major differences between college and pro ball. I think it was the uh, biggest jump that I've had to make and that I've noticed between levels. Uh, I think you're just, you have to hold yourself more accountable in pro ball uh, each and every day. You don't have somebody looking after you all the time. Um, the coaches are there, but at the end of the day, um, it's on you to get everything you need to get done and uh, prepare the way you need to prepare for game days. Here's a good 
question for you. Say I ever make it to the home run derby, could you get out there and put it down the middle? <laughs> <laughs> not not like empty stadiums like they have it now. Yeah. Full stadium, screaming fans. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in you. I think we could win it. That's when you know you're losing juice, you just hit it off the fence. You <laughs> can't get it over anymore. Uh -huh. Uh, the feeling getting drafted, man, that was that was a wild day. Uh, being a senior sign, that was sort of something that I didn't know if it was going to happen or not. Um, I was hopeful. It was something I dreamed of doing. Uh, I had my entire family with me for the three days of the draft, not knowing whenever I was going to go. Uh, but it, it was honestly the best feeling I've had. It was it was to the point to where it was like all that hard work had paid off. But I knew that even more work was just getting started and uh, that new chapter was um, starting that day. But it, it was a great uh, experience having my family there beside me. Uh -oh. I like I might have gained a little more speed. <laughs> I got out of the gate really well right there. Best player I've played against or with? That, that's tough because I've played with a lot of, I've been fortunate to play with with a lot of great players and against a lot. Um, I think one that we can agree on is Luis Robert. I mean, that was being able to see him um, and see how he plays, that was, that was fun to watch. Um, but I mean, going through the minor leagues, it's been pretty incredible to see the, all the different types of talent and where they come from uh, each year. Um, and everybody in the Orioles, I mean, that's been that's been a great experience since spring training and sort of being able to be around all those guys and learn from them. So it's been a cool experience. Any have dinner with anyone dead or alive? Who would it be? That's a tough one too. There's so many options. Um, a common one that I always say that I want to sort of pick their brain or be around is probably Stephen Curry. Uh, he's from the Charlotte area and. Um, his story's been amazing and I keep hoping that the more I put his name out there I'll be able to have dinner with him or hang out or pick his brain about his mindset and whatnot but uh, just seeing the way he's sort of grown and uh, gotten better each year and improved uh, is really it's, it's something that I uh, look at and sort of emulate after. Hey guys, just took y'all through a typical Wednesday in my routine in the off season. Uh, started with a little stretch routine uh, then did a little hit workout um, kept the light on the weights. Um, after we hit the gym and finished our workout, we headed out to the field, um, hit a little bit with my dad, 
I did a little workout, started with my T routine, a little front toss, um, just to get a feel for my swing right now this early in the off season. A uh, little throwing, a little defensive work, uh, just to get the body moving a little bit. Uh, thanks for spending the day in the life with me.